is online document conversion safe? So this is another question that I got just last week. And it's a common question because we're so, there are so many services being offered online that allow you to convert from one format to another. The question that I got actually was specifically about PDF document conversion, which as you'll see in the article is actually handled multiple different ways. But the more general concept of using an online service for your documents, for whatever files you have, is actually a really interesting one and involves a lot of basically trust issues. So with that, on to the article. Is online document conversion safe? Online document conversion services can be safe or they can represent a real privacy risk. I'll look at the options. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is AskLeo.com. Question. Many programs on the internet let you do things such as change a Word document to a PDF by sending it to the cloud and then having it return converted. How safe is this? The short answer is my most common answer. It depends. It depends on who is providing the service and how sensitive you feel your documents are. There are good services and bad services. Fortunately, there are also alternatives. Who do you trust? The very short version is that if it's a company you've never heard of, you might want to do some research before blindly uploading your sensitive documents. One way to do this, one way to start, might be to do a who is lookup on the domain on which the service is provided. The service I tend to use is whois.domaintools.com. If you are considering using a service provided at somerandomservice.com, you might look that up first to see who's behind it. That may be enough to make you feel comfortable, or it may be information to use for additional online research on the company or owner. If, of course, you recognize the company involved, then no research is needed. You simply need to answer the question, do I trust them? If the answer is yes, carry on. If the answer is no, you need to look for alternatives. One example, Google. One service that provides the specific function you're asking about is Google. You can upload a Word document to Google Drive and convert it there. While it's intended that you can then edit the file using Google Docs, there's nothing that says you must. You can save the document in any of several different forms, including PDF. All this presupposes that you trust Google. If you do not, then perhaps you trust Microsoft and could consider using Microsoft Office Online, which has the same capabilities. Do it offline. Another way to protect yourself should you feel at all uncomfortable with uploading your document is to look for a solution that runs on your PC instead. Assuming your convert to PDF scenario, there are a couple of solutions. Microsoft Office installed on your computer includes Save as PDF. Free Office alternatives like LibreOffice and OpenOffice can read your Word documents and Save as PDF. Depending on the software you have installed on your system, it's possible you have additional options as well. Be sure to look for both save and export options in any programs you have that can open a Word document. Other scenarios. As you can see, Word to PDF is a common scenario with many options available. If you're faced with some other kind of document conversion, things get more difficult. Depending on your need, you may have tools on your machine already. Those are likely the safest approach as they're least likely to share your documents with others. You may find online conversion utilities from companies you know and trust, like Google, Microsoft, or someone else. If so, then your problem is solved. But it's also possible for more obscure conversions that you'll find options from companies you've never heard of. When that happens, the only advice I can give is to do the research and weigh the risks. In general, my sense is that the risk is very low, but depending on the sensitivity of the documents you need converted, even that may be too much. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 40614. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.